was a little kid watching cartoons. There was this one episode of a cartoon, I think, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, was it? Either that or Scooby-Doo, I can't really remember. But they found a great big computer and everyone got the chance to ask a question. And the question was that this person asked that got me was, what is life? And this super computer thought for a bit and then it exploded. <laughs> and I thought that was hilarious. And it's stayed with me ever since. What is life? What computer can define life for you? See, the reason this question is so difficult to answer is because it's relative to our own experiences. Life is what life is to you. If you think of the grand scheme of things, the, the Earth is but one grain of sand if all the galaxies are put together. And we humans are but a tiny fraction of the Earth. <laughs> so we are less than, less than, less than, way less than a tiny fraction of the galaxies put together. And there are billions and billions and billions of other organisms and even non-living things and atoms that exist. So what is life? What does life mean to the extraterrestrial god dog on some planet 6,000 miles away? Probably more than 6,000 miles. I can't answer that, but I know what life means to me. So then the universal question should not be what is life? It should be what is life to you? And I think if you were to think about how seemingly insignificant we are in the grand scheme of things, how whole entire lifespans can make as little as no difference or at best make a difference to only us on this planet. It doesn't make a difference to the solar system or the galaxies, only us on this planet. That's how influential we are. We're not even, there's people other places on other planets that we don't know about. And this is based on scientific theory, not from religion, just common reasoning. Now knowing this, you would think would make somebody maybe humble, not insignificant, not inferior, but maybe humble. And the reason is in order to actually live your life and enjoy living your life, you have to realize how seemingly petite, uh, small we are in, in the full system. So what, what then should happen is we should realize that even though we are small, we have our own place in the, in the world. We have our place, we have our goals, we have things that need to be done. And why is this necessary? Because think about it. What excuse or what, sorry, advice can you give to somebody? Let's say the majority, the vast majority of people on this planet fall between the middle class and the lower class. So the advice we're used to is work hard. We know life is tough. You can survive or you can be successful. So then what do you tell to the kid who's grown up going to classes in a private jet, in a fighter jet, who knows that life is easy? He doesn't think he has problems. In fact, he recognizes that he's privileged. Do you tell him to work hard, life is tough? He doesn't relate to that. So what does life mean to him? Is it a lesson? No. To him, maybe life is some sort of luxury hotel he's just checked into from heaven. God, my father, God just sent me here and checked me into a luxury hotel where I can go to class every day in my private jet. That's perhaps what life is to him. Now, this is an assumption. I'm not saying that's what every rich kid thinks. But maybe there is one rich kid out there that thinks this. And so for this reason, the, or the assumption that life is simply just one class, just one lesson, is not sufficient to explain what life is or should mean to all of us. And so I think... What is life to you means what is your role in life. The first step to being good at what you do is knowing what you do, I assume. You know, if you, if you want to be a good dancer, well, you have to be a dancer first. So then to that rich kid that I just described a few moments ago, his role in being rich is he has to first realize, well, I'm rich, I'm privileged, I'm rich, I'm privileged. So what do I do with this, with this situation that I've got myself? That's where he starts being a philanthropist. That's where he starts using his money to influence the world. Or well, that's where he starts making videos about items that the regular person cannot afford but want to know about. 
that's his role is in the world and he's fulfilling his role and we cannot blame him for that we cannot blame him for being rich because it's his job in life that's what life means to him and now knowing that everybody's path is separate and that we all have a role to play in our own unique way how can you judge someone else playing their own role it's not possible we will not judge you for being the cleaner because that is your own role that's where you found yourself that is your story life you know you have your place and you're fulfilling it as best you can you're mastering your techniques you're knowing how to clean an office tower in under two hours i respect that and that is what you, you're doing and that is who you are that is what life means to you the best thing and the only thing that you can and you should do is to master it and become good at it and own it so that the rest of us can survive in doing your bit to be a master in what you are you are helping the rest of us and if everybody and if every organism mastered their own roles wouldn't wouldn't it be perfect wouldn't it just if every if your cleaner does masters her cleaning if your barber masters is barbing if your driver masters is driving and and you, the students are masters at learning and the professors masters the teaching wouldn't it just be awesome so perhaps life is beyond one lesson life is knowing what your role is and mastering it and by mastering it making everybody's life better when one master is created the entirety of an existence is uplifted even if by just one so then the entire world the galaxy is just one big construction <laughs> site where we have been brought into to build upon our own strengths to build something better so perhaps we're not going to die and go to heaven because this is the heaven we are building. This is it. This is as incomplete a project as it is planet Earth right now and the entire galaxies around us is heaven. And by mastering our roles, we are helping complete this project. And when we fail, that is hell. So heaven, hell, life, reality, success, failure, all these concepts tied into the fact, into the simple fact that we can just know who we are and do what is expected of us with the goal of mastery in mind. Honestly, this is my own theory. The world will look different to every one of us. And someone said, a very wise person, I assume, I don't remember who it is, there are as many ways to see the world as there are people in it. Well, I hope perhaps this helps one, somebody understand life better i want to be better at it because guess what when you give up you've given up on all of us you failed for all of us and it hurts when you give up so don't give up just keep doing what you're doing we will keep doing what we're doing and together we can help complete this project that is life <laughs>